Hi friends, welcome to the video. Today in this video we are going to discuss about some important questions and their answers which are from element 1 and this is the part 2 of the video. Before this we have discussed about some questions from element 1 and it was part 1 video. This is the continuation for that part. This is the second part and don't forget to drop your email id to receive the approved text, Nibosh text. So what is conventions and recommendations? So we know about R164, C155, we have read about these terms in our Nibosh text. But here through this question Nibosh wants to test what you exactly know about conventions and recommendations, your idea about conventions and recommendations. So ILO, the International Labour Organization produce health and safety standards in the form of conventions and recommendations. So these conventions and recommendations are the health and safety standards which are produced by the ILO. So if you consider any country, if that country is the member of ILO, then that country will be using these conventions and recommendations as a reference document and they will be able to show these all are the standards which they are following up and they can show it as a reference document to the organization, to the ILO. Now the second question is what are the obligations of an employer as per the C155 as per the convention 155 what are the obligations of an employer so the answer for this question will be as per the convention 155 the employers have to make ensure that all the workplaces machinery equipment and processes which are under their control are safe and without any risk to the health of the people or the workers who are working at site. Similarly, you can write, they have to ensure that the chemical, physical and biological substances and agents which are under their control in their site are not posing any risk to the health of the people. Similarly, they have to make sure that they provide adequate protecting clothing and protective equipment to prevent risk of any accidents, injuries or of any adverse effects on their health. Now the third question is what are the obligations of an employer as per the R164? So the answer for this question will be the employer has to provide workplace and work equipment and use the work methods which are safe and pose no risk to the health. Similarly you can write they have to provide appropriate instructions and training at work site. Similarly you can write they have to provide necessary supervision while doing the work. Similarly you can write put in place health and safety arrangements which are adapted to suit the size and nature of the undertaking. Then provide any necessary personal protective clothing and equipment free of charge. Then to ensure that hours of work do not adversely affect employees safety and health similarly you can write the employer has to take measures to eliminate any extreme physical and mental fatigue at the site they have to stay up to date with the knowledge or the information in order to comply with the above the employer must be aware of all the rules all the informations he must be aware to make sure that all the above set points are fulfilled in the site now the fourth question is what are the responsibility of workers as per the R164. So here you can write the answer as the workers have to take reasonable care of their own safety and that of other people who might be affected by the things which they do and the things which they fail to do in the work site. Similarly they have to comply with all the safety instructions and the procedures. Similarly, they have to use all safety equipments properly and not tamper with it. Similarly, they have to report any situation which they believe could be a hazard and which they cannot correct themselves. So they have to uh, report this situation to their top management or to their supervisor. Similarly, they have to report any work related accident or ill healthness which happens in the site. To their management or to their supervisor now we will be seeing the fifth question outline the rights of workers as per the c155 so here the right to be provided with adequate information on actions the employer has taken 
to ensure the occupational safety and health the right to the necessary training in occupational safety and health the right to be consulted by the employer on all matters of occupational safety and health relating to their work similarly they have the right to leave a workplace which the worker has reason to think presents an imminent and serious danger to their life or health and not to be compelled to return until it is safe